right, here's a Robinson R44 Astro. Let's do a pre-flight. I want to start out by on the pre-flight, we're going to open up these cowlings right here by turning each one of these little twisties counterclockwise and opening up each compartment. All right, now that everything's open, let's start. We're going to start from the very front and work our way back. So here we're going to, here's our uh, auxiliary fuel sump. Here's our fuel sump. Let's pull it out. Clamp comes undone. Normally I'd have a little container to catch the fuel. This is just for demonstration purposes. Push up and fuel comes out. Let go. Make sure all the fuel is out of this line. And reclamp. And if there's water, into your fuel sample and do it again until there's no water or dirt. Here's a fuel line coming off the bottom of the auxiliary tank. Here's the tail rotor push pull tube and bell crank. If you're looking here, you're looking to make sure there is roll but no lateral or vertical movement in that rod end. This right here is the push pull tube and this is the rod end and that's where you're checking for the movement. If you notice that here's a paddle nut and there's an orange torque stripe over every one of these so you're going to make sure that none of those are broken that way you know it hasn't moved. So right above the tail rotor bell crank and uh, pitch pull tube is the main rotor mount. There's four and you're, make, you're looking at the frame, you're looking at the mount, the rubber and the torque stripe on the very top. Make sure that's not broken. Here's the main rotor gearbox and that orange thing right here, the teletemp, you want to make sure you want to take a note of where how many of those have been darkened in so right now the first three have been somewhat darkened and we drew a line so at the end of the flight we can check these teletemps to make sure that nothing has gotten hot on that flight right next to the teletemp is the let's see if we can get a good glare here is the sight glass for the main rotor gearbox make sure that's half full Approximately so we're on a slight hill here, so it's a little low um, But also you're looking for the gearbox this wiring right here Look around make sure there's safety wire attached There no leaks coming on in here's the main rotor gearbox Underneath see this guy. That's the main rotor chip detector it detects any medical metal particles in the main rotor gearbox Make sure that those are fastened. We're going to test that here in a second Wiring harness is nice and secure. This hose right here is, comes all the way back to the fan, so it blows air onto the gearbox, keeping it nice and cool since it's in a very confined area. Here's another main rotor gearbox mount and bolt. Make sure they check the condition of that. Here's the pitch pull tube for the tail rotor. Make sure there's no corrosion, cracks, um, scratches, anything out of the norm. Here's the upper frame. Check the wiring harness. Make sure that's nice and secure. Ventilation hoses are good. This is, there's another hose that goes to the front portion of the main rotor gearbox, keeping it nice and cool. All right, we're still in the main rotor gearbox compartment, so we're going to come in here. We're going to inspect the forward yoke flange and brake. All right, so we're about to inspect the forward yoke flange and flex coupling. The yoke flange is this gray part. And as we turn the main rotor and the tail rotor drive shaft, you're going to inspect all the way around this joint. Check the cracks, check those pound nuts, make sure they haven't moved. And see these guys? Making sure, make sure those don't move as well. You're looking for any bins, bins, cracks, corrosion, anything that may cause harm in the flight. Now here, um, so the gray part is the yoke flange, and the brass colored looking thing is the flex coupling. Right behind it, the guy with all the wires, that is the brake switch. We're going to test the brake here. Here the switch. If it's activated, the, the switch will be up and the light will be on, meaning you cannot start it, so the switch works. Also back here, See that pitch pull tube? 
We're going to make sure we're going to check the pitch pull tube and rod end. Make sure there's no excessive movement and the, the pitch pull tube feels nice and smooth. Turn the master on. Note that the governor off light works, oil pressure light works, and the alternator. Those should be on when the masters turn on. And we're going to check for the other ones. We're going to check main rotor temp, main rotor chip, tail rotor chip, low fuel light, and engine fire. So we're going to come back to, back to the main rotor gearbox compartment and check those out. Alright, so we're once again back to the main rotor gearbox compartment. See these buttons right here? Main rotor temp, chip, engine fire, tail rotor chip, and low fuel light. These are test buttons, which when you press them, it grounds the sensor out, meaning when you push that, the light will come on on the dash. So we're going to go through each one of these, and I want to show what happens when you do that. Starting from left to right on this little button panel back in the main rotor gearbox, here's main rotor temp. Inverter chip, engine fire down at the bottom there, tether chip, and the low fuel light. Now the low fuel light, there's going to be a couple second delay, that's normal. So we just have finished checking all of our caution lights by grounding the sensors out by the, using these buttons. So we are done in the main rotor gearbox compartment, so we're going to latch it up. Alright, so we're going to check the right side of our engine. Here's the fresh air intake right here. So you can see the orange tubing in the back. Make sure this is nicely, nicely secured. This is a Lycoming 0540. It's a, an opposing six cylinder, so there's three valve covers, three cylinders per side. They oppose each other. On each valve cover, you're looking to make sure that there's no leaks. The safety wires are properly tightened. See how no matter what, they're going to tighten. They're not going to loosen up. Go all the way around. That one looks good. Coming down here, exhaust, spark plugs, oil lines, another spark plug. You're just checking the engine's general condition. This scoop right here is the carpet scoop. Make sure that's nicely secured. Now in the 44, everything's a little, a little bit harder to inspect. Uh, but the 22 is nice. Another valve cover, and you're just going all the way back, checking for in the engine's general condition. Here at the very bottom is the gasculator. Make sure all those torque stripes are nicely lined up, and that is the bottom of the fuel system. So we're going to sump that bad boy uh, by pushing on the line. It comes off the bottom of this. Bottom of the engine, right side. Here's the fuel sump, and here's the breather tube from the engine. This is coming from the gas collator, so all we have to do is push up, get a good sump into a bottle, checking for anything.